Back joining us on the show now is Peter McQuire. He is CEO at Exam Australia. Peter, hi. And three months, three hundred dollars off a jump up in case of gold prices. Is it overbought here? Should you be cautious, or are we in a one-line gain? Well, good afternoon, Manisha. I tell you what, it's uh, yeah, you can't get into the road of it because it'll run you over, and it's been a freight train over the last couple of weeks, especially. So, yeah, I think there's more upside. There's a lot of fear in the market. There's a lot of worry as far as dollar, what's happening with the interest rates, inflation story and central banks buying and everyone's loading up on gold. Oh, well, absolutely. But, you know, a 5% of gains already in uh, 2023. We saw 4% of gains yeah. in December. It was 6 or 7% up in the month of November. So the gold prices have been gaining back on month on a monthly basis as well. Where do you see yeah. some resistance? Should there be some cautiousness at these levels? Or do you think until the US Fed meeting is out of the way, we really won't know the direction? Well, I want to get over the Fed meeting. And I also think that like any market that moves up as briskly as what we've seen, Manisha, you get points in time that you can you know, wipe out 15, 20 bucks quickly. A little bit of hot air comes out of it. But I think there seems to be more momentum to the upside than downside. So, yeah, I... You know, maybe the 2000s got to be the number that they it seems to have resistance at. But uh, you've got to watch these markets closely. But it's not disappointing and it's offering plenty of excitement, uh, certainly with its little brother as well, silver. <laughs> yes, I will come to silver. But to gold first, where do you see a resistance? Until what time do you think we still are in a structural bull run, bull run and you can stay invested? I mean, would 1900 do that for you, 1850? What are the levels that you're looking at on the downside in sense of comfort now? Well, it's got to be 1880, 1890, I think, Venetia, okay. because there's a lot of fear going in as far as US dollar. It's tailed off. It's a very, very volatile day. And, uh, you know, we touched, everyone was thinking maybe we're going to see a 102, 102.50. We've already been to 101.8 in the last couple of hours and then it's bounced from there. So I think that it's not going to disappoint as far as dollar movement and that creates again more horsepower for gold. So yeah, maybe 1880 to the downside and for an upside, well, is it 1950, 1960 and then we we'll recalibrate. <laughs> yeah, since you talked about the dollar index and yes, that's going to be the main thing to watch out for. What's your sense? 25 basis points, where is dollar index going? 50 basis point, if that happens, where is dollar index going? I think a lot of it's already been, you know, baked in. So unless you see something dramatic come out as far as Fed rhetoric and the move, you know, what they're prepared to do, 25, I think, will really um, add more of a brick to the uh, to the dollar index. It'll 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 pull it down for harder. 50 will probably give it a little bit of stability, maybe for a day or so. But I think the overall trend is softer from here have a look what's happening with the yen in the last couple of days as well so yeah softness for us dollar to continue manisha mm. you talked about silver and yes 24 dollars per bounce is back and uh, on uh, staying above that level for a couple of sessions now where are you seeing yeah. where do you see that heading well it's 24 and a half so i think you know 24 bucks 50 cents for silver on comex i think there's more upside yet it's had about a 35 percent move to the upside from 18 dollars going back to uh, october so it's been more dramatic than gold and i think there's more upside in it everyone seems to be talking everyone i talk to and all the chat seems to be very focused on silver uh, from an industrial demand picture and of course from an investment side so yeah, people are starting to hoard it. They realise there could be a shortage globally and that's creating more ranks for traders and certainly for the people who want to hold it.